dumping of nuclear waste. Uh, we have seen an epidemic of cancer uh, over the years, something the people of the region say was triggered by the burying of this toxic waste in the region. Uh, we need proper investigations. It cannot continue to be just rumors. I haven't talked about this openly uh, before. I worked with uh, Jim Choge. Jim Choge was a lawyer. Yes. But he was also a lawyer of the late uh, Honorable Nicholas B. Watt. Mm. Jim Choge came to my office and gave me documents. Those documents had the details of where toxic waste was being dumped in Kenya. In my stupidity, I took those documents and went and confronted President Moon. And I told him, he said, I have information. The people in the Ministry of Energy, they are cheating Kenyans that they are looking for oil. But this is toxic waste that is being dumped in Northeastern and around that area. Mm. I'm not getting in trouble like that. Because I was asked, where did you get these documents? And if you don't say where you got these documents, it's the end of you. Where did you get these documents? Mm. So I said, there you said, we must always keep secret mm. the source of our information. Yes. I have given you this document, you're the head of state. You have the machinery to find out whether it is true or not. So for me, I'm relying on you to verify and validate these documents. Because the person with the power, the power to do it is yourself, not myself. And he made noise. All through, I just thought he's being unreasonable. I'm giving him documents, he needs to find out. But then when I was leaving, is when my head opened up because I was told, whatever we have discussed here, if I hear it out there, what I do. So I left. Then I said, what was I doing? Did I go to talk to whoever was dumping the toxic waste? That we are dumping toxic waste here? Because that appeared to be the reason. Because the way the whole information was received was so violent. few decades and it's projected to get even higher as we were told by our chief uh, the executive director of this hospital here in Garissa we mostly see cancers of the head and neck and I am concerned that they presenting very late to our facilities I know that we can change this experience and uh, I listened to the CEC for health on what he did in creating awareness in the local uh, language. I've also listened to the member of parliament and I want to congratulate them and say let us continue creating our awareness so that our people can get treatment. What Jirongo alleged in that interview, that recent interview, is something that has been um, going, um, I mean, that, that it's part of the rumor mills, if I can say, and the claims and counter claims we've kept hearing as we grew up in northeastern Kenya over the years about the existence of nuclear or um, toxic waste buried in the midst of uh, uh, our region. Um, places that we've had before uh, include parts of Garissa, particularly the northern part of Garissa, uh, west of Wajia, south of Wajia, uh, all these places. And there are people who swear that they will be able to pinpoint some of these dumping grounds, that they could identify some of these dumping grounds. We are calling for a fully-fledged investigation into these allegations. It's time to put this very, very crucial issue, something that is very important to the health, health and existence of the people of that region who are no less Kenyans, 
Uh, we've seen an epidemic of cancer uh, over the years, something the people of the region say was triggered by the burying of this toxic waste in the region. Uh, we need proper investigations. It cannot continue to be just rumors. We cannot be getting um, uh, fragments of information as we've seen the last of which came from uh, Honorable Jirongo. Uh, and as time continues, we need to be a country that uh, uh, is transparent, that uh, investigates any issues that are of concern to uh, the citizens of this country. And, and, and we call upon uh, proper investigations. We need to get to the bottom of this matter. If at all it's true that toxic waste was buried and in any investigations is found out to be true, we would need a cleanup process done and also reparations given to those who have been affected. Uh, but all these things are secondary to the need that we have today for a proper investigation by experts, specialists in this subject to ensure that this actually happened uh, and put this matter to rest. Thank you very much. Need a cab? Order Faras. Get 10% cash back in form of Faras miles. Convert your miles to airtime, data, or M-Pesa. Faras. Safe. Affordable. Convenient.